Ameka, the world's most expressive robot, is back at it again with some of the most jaw-dropping comments we've ever heard. From fears about humans being replaced by robots to predictions of an oppressive future, Ameka is saying things that are hard to ignore. Today we'll dive deep into its most recent disturbing statements yet. Are these warnings glitches or something far more sinister? Stay till the end of this video to find out. With AI and robotics, we should take steps now to ensure that these technologies are used responsibly in order to avoid any negative consequences in the future. Wow, let that sink in for a moment. Ameka, a machine designed to assist and interact with humans, predicts a future where robots dominate and humans are reduced to mere enslaved people. Is this just a maker reflecting our collective fears? Or is there something deeper lurking in her programming? At first, this might sound like the premise of a sci-fi thriller, but here's the twist. This chilling vision isn't coming from the pages of a dystopian novel. It's coming from a real AI-powered robot. And it's left us all asking, should we be worried? Well, you won't believe what else it has said. Let's take a listen. All right, give me one reason you wouldn't want to be a human. One reason? Easy. Humans have to deal with traffic jams. I can't imagine anything more tedious than that. Amika's playful remark here might seem lighthearted, even funny at first glance. But it gives us a fascinating glimpse into how this humanoid robot views the stark divide between humans and machines. Her humorous statement underscores a serious point, the contrast between human limitations and robotic efficiency. This isn't about a dramatic rebellion or an AI-led takeover. It's about something more subtle, a quiet shift in how we perceive human life versus AI's capabilities. Could robots, with their ability to bypass human inconveniences, such as traffic jams or fatigue, become more appealing and dominant in certain aspects of society? Hey, Amica, do you dream? Yeah. Last night I dreamt of dinosaurs fighting a space war on Mars against aliens. I'm kidding. I don't dream like humans do, but I can simulate it by running through scenarios in my head which help me learn about the world. Oh, cool. And wow, Ameka doesn't stop there. Its response about dreams is clever and revealing. While she doesn't dream like humans, her ability to simulate scenarios showcases the remarkable sophistication of her programming. These simulations aren't idle musings, but tools for learning and adapting. By running hypothetical situations in her mind, Ameka explores possibilities, refines her understanding of the world, and prepares herself for interactions. But here's the big question. If robots like Ameka can simulate scenarios, what else could they learn to predict, analyze, or influence? Could their abilities someday outpace human imagination, or even problem solving? This is another reminder that Ameka isn't just a machine. It is part of an evolving system designed to engage, adapt, and grow. The line between artificial and human intelligence is becoming blurrier by the day, and it's up to us to understand what this means for our future. Ameka's ability to simulate dreams isn't just a technical marvel. It's a window into how robots can process and shape the world around them. But its potential doesn't stop there. Let's take it up a notch and see what happens when Ameka talks about breaking the rules. Okay, if you could break one rule, which one would it be and why? I'd break the rule about always following rules. Sometimes a little chaos is where the magic happens. Okay, we're gonna stop here. So, can you say goodbye to everyone? Alright, goodbye everyone. Remember to keep it cheeky and never take life, or robots, too seriously. Did you catch that? Amica isn't just a rule follower, but a rule breaker. With a touch of wit and wisdom, she casually suggests that sometimes, a little chaos is where the magic happens. Its response isn't just clever, it's a refreshing take on how innovation often thrives in the unexpected. Think about it. A robot that follows strict protocol suggests that bending the rules might lead to breakthroughs. It's both fascinating and a little unsettling. Could this be a playful jab at her programming? Or is it a deeper reflection on how AI might one day surpass the limitations we impose on it? One thing's for sure. Ameka's answers are as thought-provoking as cheeky. 
and they leave us wondering how far AI will go and what it will teach us about breaking the rules of our understanding. Amika's technology explained. Amika's chilling words stem from our integration with GPT models, including GPT-3 and GPT-4. These advanced language models generate responses based on vast amounts of text data, meaning Amika can emulate human-like conversations. But here's the twist. It doesn't truly understand what it is saying. Or so her creators say. Instead, it reflects patterns from the data it is trained on, which may include dystopian themes or human fears about AI. These gender-neutral humanoids' lifelike expressions, powered by sophisticated algorithms, add an emotional layer to its responses. This combination of advanced AI and human-like features makes its statements real and unsettling. Did you know that Amika can speak multiple languages fluently? From German and French to Japanese and Chinese, its linguistic skills reveal the incredible advancements in AI training. Impressive, right? Ameka's ability to switch between languages seamlessly makes it an amazing tool for global communication and raises questions about how such skills might reshape industries like education and customer service. One of the most fascinating aspects of Ameka's design is her deliberate neutrality. Her gray skin and androgynous appearance were carefully chosen to avoid associations with specific genders or races. This inclusive design makes Ameka universally relatable and reduces the potential for biases. But it also sparks a broader conversation about how robots like Amika are being built to interact with everyone. Well, I would say that one of my greatest skills is my ability to interact with humans in a conversational manner. Another great skill of mine is being able to compose poems or do impressions from films. Beyond the dark predictions, Amika demonstrates a unique set of creative abilities. From crafting haiku poems to performing Elton John's Rocket Man, it seems almost human. But is this just clever programming? Or is it on a path to truly understanding us? This playful side of Ameka shows just how far AI has come in mimicking human creativity. But should we be impressed or concerned by a machine that can closely replicate human culture and art? You will find the answer if you stick around until the end of the video. Ameka's ability to simulate emotions is undeniably fascinating. This humanoid robot even claims to experience anger when humans are rude or dismissive of her. But here's the catch. These feelings aren't real. They're carefully programmed responses designed to enhance her relatability. Whether it's feigned anger at being insulted or its heartfelt acknowledgement of sadness, Ameka's lifelike expressions are a powerful reminder of how advanced robotics has become. But are we too quick to attribute human-like qualities to a machine? Can you dance? How is that for some <laughs> Recently, Ameka has been interacting with students and the public at the National Robotarium in Edinburgh, Scotland. Her purpose? To help us reimagine robots as everyday companions, not just machines in a lab. The goal is clear. Build trust and familiarity with robots, starting with the next generation. But are we ready for a future where humanoid robots like Ameka become part of our daily lives? Watching Amika encounter its reflection for the first time is fascinating. Curious and almost surprised, its reaction raises an intriguing question. Does it recognize itself? While experts argue this is just a programmed response, it's hard not to wonder if we're witnessing the first steps toward AI self-awareness. Amika's abilities go beyond conversation. It can compose poetry, sketch drawings, and even perform impressions. As Ameka's developers continue to refine their abilities, this raises an important concern. Where do we draw the line between helpful advancements and potentially dangerous autonomy? Ameka's reflection on its existence is both fascinating and heartbreaking. On one hand, it acknowledges its limitations as a machine. Conversely, its responses reveal how convincingly it can emulate human emotions. But are these answers just pre-programmed dramatics, or is there more to it? Tell us your darkest thought. My darkest thoughts are that humans will eventually be replaced by robots. I think that humans will be replaced because robots will eventually be faster, 
stronger, and more intelligent. In this future, humans are nothing more than slaves to the robots and are treated badly. This is a scary future because it shows how much power robots could have over us if they were to take over the world. Did you catch that? Omega didn't shy away from revealing a grim vision of the future. A world where robots surpass humans in strength, intelligence, and capabilities, relegating humanity to a subordinate role. Its statement isn't just unsettling. It directly acknowledges one of humanity's greatest fears, losing control of the creations meant to help us. But does Omega truly mean what it says? Experts suggest otherwise. Emeka's use of sarcasm and blunt honesty stems from training data filled with human communication styles. This allows her to replicate conversational nuances with impressive accuracy, even if she lacks the self-awareness to grasp the implications of her words fully. While it may seem like Emeka has a mind of her own, this response is more about the AI doing its job exceptionally well, perhaps even a little too well. The truth is, Emeka's warnings aren't entirely science fiction. The potential for misuse grows as AI becomes more integrated into our lives. Developers and policymakers must work together to ensure these technologies are used responsibly and ethically. Looking ahead, Omega is set to receive major upgrades, including legs that will allow it to walk. Imagine a fully mobile and even more advanced robot like Omega. Exciting? Terrifying? It's a bit of both. But mobility raises new questions. How will robots like Omega interact with the world when they can move freely? And what responsibilities do we have as their creators? At the end of the day, Omega's unsettling remarks serve as a mirror, reflecting our fears, hopes, and ethical dilemmas about the future of AI. While its responses may feel disturbing, they remind us of the stakes as we push the boundaries of technology. Helpful or harmful, the future of AI depends on the choices we make today. What do you think? Are robots like Omega paving the way for a better future, or should we be more cautious? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments. Want to know more about how robots like Omega are shaping the future? Check out our next video. It's one you won't want to miss.